a lot of people are kind of sad because they it's the pandemic and I feel like the kindness tracks put a smile on people's faces and I feel like it makes people happy. It's a pretty simple concept. Positive messages painted on rocks and placed around town. Sometimes in clusters, other times a single rock with a cheerful thought. It was an idea that started in Sofia Skorapanos' Girl Scout troop. One of them that I made was like, stay positive. Some of them are like, shine on and keep keep going and like, no, don't quit. Like we did all these kinds of messages that would make people smile. And like we put them around Wyckoff. I think kindness rocks really remind people that there's good in the world. And there's been so much lately where the, we've been getting negative messages and the positivity that the girls decided to put out in the world really reflects on everyone around us in our community. Karen Scorapanos is Sophia's mom and the troop's leader since kindergarten. She was thrilled to see their idea ripple through the other troops in town, resulting in more than 500 kindness rocks being placed around Wyckoff. Betty Garger says it's just one way the Girl Scouts are addressing the challenges that have arisen from COVID. We really focus um, and always have on social emotional learning and helping girls have great self-esteem, but even more so in the past 15, 16 months um, with the pandemic is really helping girls understand the importance of mental check-ins, um, feeling it's okay to feel sad, it's okay to share that sadness with your friends and your family. Sophia shared how she's dealt with her own emotional struggles since the first shutdown last March. It was kind of like scary because I didn't know when it was going to be over and I'm actually still scared because like I don't know what's going to happen and what how it's going to like the world's going to be the same. It's a fear a lot of young people share and something the Girl Scouts of Northern New Jersey are trying to help families address. As the world opens up again, um, children may have emotions that they are not sure how to handle and so we'll be providing a resource guide for our families so that they know the experts that they can call and that there are people available to assist them. In our home we really do talk about how to keep your body healthy and your mind healthy and the things that you can do by connecting with people because that really brings a lot of happiness and joy. Happiness and joy are exactly what they're getting as they're giving it to others. Sophia said it makes her smile every time she hears someone tell her the rocks brighten their day. It makes me feel happy because someone actually noticed them and I liked having that feeling that like our rocks, we didn't just do it for nothing and it makes me feel proud and happy. I'm so proud of the girls that they took this initiative amongst uh, upon themselves, right? From the power of one, the power of a group, and then the power of the community. And they harness that to really make a difference in the world around them. And I think the power of them being able to see that they can make those changes will be something that they can feel throughout their life. These girls offer us a reminder that sometimes all you need is a rock and a little paint to make the world a better place. In Wyckoff, I'm Joanna Gagas, NJ Spotlight News.